Hi, my name is Bakhadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the continuous functions. We are going to define what are the continuous functions, and we're going to talk about the three examples of discontinuous functions, of essentially the functions which are not continuous. So previously, we've seen that if you are evaluating the limits of the polynomials, for example, the x plus 2, we can simply substitute x to be equal to 1 and evaluate the limit. So in this case, the limit of the x plus 2 as x approaches the 1 is simply going to be equal to the 3. And I evaluated this by just putting x to be equal to 1. So essentially, this kind of functions where I can just substitute the value of the x to be equal to 1 to the function are called as continuous continuous functions. So in general, mathematically, the, the definition of the continuous functions is not far away from the meaning of the word continuous in our daily life. So essentially, you can say this about all of the continuous functions, that you can sketch the graph of the continuous function without interrupting your pen out of the tab, out of the out of the paper. So in this case, your function is going to be called as a continuous. So this is some rough definition of the continuity of the function. So the mathematical precise definition of the continuity looks like this. So let us write down the definition of the continuous function. So a function, a function f is continuous at a number a at some number, at, at some point A, if the limit of the f of x as x goes to the A is simply equal to the f of A. Okay, so at the first glance, the, the definition is not so clear. So, so this, this definition actually implies the three consequences. The first consequence is that this limit f of a should exist, or your function should have the value at the point f of a, should be defined, should be defined. So let's consider the counterexamples for the three meanings of this definition. So I'm going to consider the example of the function f of x, which is equal to the x squared minus x minus two divided to the x minus two. Well, this function is not defined at the f is equal to the two, or, or x is equal to the two. So this f of two, or f of x is equal to the two, simply doesn't define it. So it's not defined, it is not define it. So there is no value of this function at this point. So if you just sketch the graph of this function, it is going to look like this. So it is, it is going to be one and two, and it's going to be some line which is passing through the point, uh, the point one. And I can just sketch this like this. So it can come to here. So I can just continue this. And when it comes to the two, I don't simply don't have the value for this two, then I can continue. So essentially my function simply is not defined at this point. So this is a counterexample, where this is an example where the function is not defined. So one of the implications of this definition means that this limit or this function should be defined at this point. Well, this definition implies the other two amplifications. So the second one basically tells us that the limit of f of x as x goes to the a should exist. So essentially, it should not be infinity. Okay, so let's consider another example of the function which simply does not have the limit existing, existing limit at a certain point. So the f of x is equal to 1 divided to the x in the square if x is not equal to the 0. And it's simply equal to the 1 if x is equal to the 0. So what I have to do is I need to find the limit of this function as x goes to the 0. So the limit of this function 1 over x in the square as x goes to the 0 is equal to the infinity. So in this case, we say that simply this limit doesn't exist. So the limit doesn't exist. 
So again, we say that this function is discontinuous at this point. So we say we say that the function f of x is discontinuous at the x is equal to the zero. So the graphically, it looks like it looks like this. So I can sketch the graph of this function. like this, say so as I approach the x from the left or from the right, it simply goes to the infinity. And I just all, all also have this point one because it is given that when x is equal exactly to the zero, the function's value is equal to the one, okay? But even though we basically say that even though the function has the value at the x is equal to the zero, its limit as x approaches to the limit uh, as it, as x, x approaches to the zero, its limit simply doesn't exist. So that is why this function is also discontinuous. But this is not the all. So there is a third situation when we say that the function is discontinuous at a certain point, and the third amplification of the definition of the limit of the of the of the continuity basically tells us that the limit of the f of x as x goes to the zero, right, should be equal to the f of a. So if it is not equal, then again, we say that the function is not continuous or simply the function is discontinuous at this point. So let's consider again an example of, the, of such a function. So let's say f of x is given as x squared minus x minus 2 divided to the x minus 2 if x is not equal to the 2. And it is equal to the 1 if x is equal to the 2. Okay, so... Do you remember the first example, this example, where we had the similar function, but for this function, so the function basically is not defined at this point, x is equal to the 2. While this function is defined, it has even a limit, but this limit is not equal to, the, to, to, to its value. So let's, let, let us find the limit of this function. So the limit of the x squared minus x minus t divided to the x minus t as x goes to the 2, is equal to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the numerator of this function differently. So I'm going to write this as x minus 2 times the x plus 1 divided to the x minus 2. So I can just simply divide this x minus 2 and x minus 2, and I can write this as the limit of x plus 1. And as x goes to the 2, is equal to the 3. Okay, so the limit of the function f of x as x goes to the 2 is not equal to the f of uh, f of 2. Okay, because I know that I can look to here that f of 2 is equal to the 1, right? So the f of 2 is equal to the 1, and the limit of f of x as x goes to the 2 is equal to 3. So they are not the same. So this is the third case when we say that the function is discontinuous. So now we define this three amplifications and we gave the ex examples of the cases when the three amplifications fail. So the, uh, the continuous, the function is continuous means that this function should be defined. Its limit should exist, right? And its limit should exist and it should be equal to the value of the function at this point. So in this in this case, we say that the function is continuous at this point. So in the interval, we basically say that the function is, is continuous in some interval if it is continuous for all of the points inside this interval. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this video was helpful for you.